Hello, and welcome to an episode of Who's That Girl? <laughs> welcome back to the beauty saga. Today, as I'm sure you saw from the title, we are doing all things Merit. I have tested some of these products already, some of them uh, brand new first impressions, but I am just overall so pleased with this look. I take you start to finish how I achieve it and I just think it's so flattering. I cannot like stop looking in mirrors because between the eyes, the lips, it's really making my eyes look green. I just think it's like their color curation, mm, chef's kiss. They don't get enough credit for how curated their collections really are. And I am just feeling it, like my skin looks like skin. It looks so healthy, so glowy, but like bronzed, flushed in all the right spots, you know? I'm just, I'm digging this like winter lip. It's making my eyes Sparkle, this is just makeup that makes you feel good. <laughs> so, if you want to see how I got this look and just hang out with me for a while, just please keep watching. The inspiration for this video came because everything that I have tried from Merit, I have absolutely loved. So I just keep collecting things from Merit, but I haven't been trying them and I realized that I basically have like a full face. <laughs> I did cave and get the holiday set. I know, I know. That's beautiful. Well, I hope it's beautiful. We're gonna find out. But in it, you get a full size lip liner, which my understanding is this is the only lip liner that Merit does. It's supposed to match all of their lip shades. If I could raise one eyebrow quizzically, like what? Um, then they have their solo shadow in gl Glace, Glace. I don't know how to say it. I'm not it's supposed to be like a shimmery kind of festive top coat. You get their eyebrow, their, what do they call you? Volumizing pomade in neutral, which literally means clear and apparently they don't sell this year round. I don't know. I saw a lot of angry people on the internet. The Lux sample of the, um, Man, it's early in the morning. Language is hard. <laughs> mascara, and apparently this is supposed to be a tubing mascara, which I didn't even realize, but that makes me 10 times more excited for it. And then they've got their um, Great Skin Serum, which I have the full size, which I'll be using today. So we're gonna be doing a full face of mirror today. As much as I can. I don't believe that they have like a powder and uh, I don't believe they have like an eyebrow pencil or an eyeliner, so we're going to be supplementing some things in, but we're really going to be uh, focusing in on Merit today. So the first thing that I've already used, even though this bottle looks untouched, it's because you really... It says two to three pumps. Girl, if you have three pumps of this on you, <laughs> you need like a pump, <laughs> okay? It has niacinamide. Um, four different types of hyaluronic acid, caffeine-rich cacao seed extract, um, Japanese gold thread root, which is supposed to be soothing and antioxidant. Um, anyway, it's called the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, and I couldn't agree more. Um, I don't know this two to three pump nonsense. I use a pump, and I've had amazing results. It just... Think the Drunk Elephant uh, bronzy drops, that glow, a little, like a little tint of color just makes you look a little bit more, you know, alive, lively, but doesn't really bronze you to the point that your foundation won't match. Like, I use one singular pump though. And then this is supposed to be a serum. So you are supposed to label it, or label it, <clears throat> layer it under your moisturizer but I've found it behaves really really similar to like the um, glow drops from the dew drops from glow recipe where you can put it on over top of moisturizer right before you do your makeup as like a hydrating primer 
and then instant glow skin looks healthy I should probably zoom you in as I start working uh, more detail oriented on my face eh? <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus today. I'm trying to lower my caffeine intake and I think everybody can tell. So this is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. It's not a foundation or a concealer. It's both. Use it only where you need it so you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup. Swipe onto skin where you want coverage, buff it out with a brush. So you can't tell what's you and what's makeup. Okay, so it's like, it's like a spot concealing stick then. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna love that. <laughs> I love Merit's packaging. Oh my gosh. Everything is so minimalist, but like gorgeous. Um, I'm in the shade Oak. Okay ochre. I don't know if it's a right. I just kind of stabbed in the dark. I don't know. It's probably going to be a little deep for where I'm at right now. We'll make it work. We always do. Just in case everything starts going to whack, I did grab my L'Oreal Age Perfect Balm. This stuff is truly a one and done. I use it as a concealer and as a foundation. Exactly kind of how they explained to use this. Why am I getting acne? <sighs> Do you ever just look at your skin and go, why? Why? Those are irritation bumps too on this like chin right here. They could be hormonal, but those are irritation bumps and that annoys me. That means I put something. Sometimes it's as dumb as, I'm really like, I'm so chatty and like weird today. Sometimes it's as dumb as like the aromatherapy spray I use can like <laughs> get on my pillowcase and irritate my skin. How does that happen? Okay, so if I look at my face, obviously my sun got a lot of questions you guys are very concerned about this it's not cancerous it's it's like an age spot it's a sunspot from not properly wearing SPF and and yes it is fairly new I'd say within the last two years I developed it obviously my under eyes so when this thing's like I'm not a concealer girl you better be Okay, well, I'm, mm, it's had blended out with a brush. I'm really tempted to see what the warmth of my fingers can accomplish, though. It's hard to explain. It has, like, an emolliency that just feels like it wants my fingers. Trust your gut. Okay. Okay, I think I see why they say to use a brush. It kind of stays where you set it down, which is cool. That's actually really nice. Um, so it does have that kind of corrective concealer quality. It's really staying put where I laid it down. So it's not maybe the most easily spread out with fingers. A little extra work, but... I'm not mad at that coverage. I'm gonna switch over to my Makeup by Mario F1 and oh yeah <laughs> it it works so much better with a brush I think it's not terrible though with a uh, with fingers but it was a little bit harder to maneuver around it's a little bit easier to blend I'm gonna like brush it onto my brush 
because my skin I can tell when I'm really up close to it there are certain just like little red blotches kind of all over especially on this side where all the irritancy is happening that I'm just not in love with looking at so see if you can like load up your brush with it and just kind of get an even cover mm-hmm okay I mean if you're willing to sit here and like work with it and build it up to what you're liking I mean it really does look like your skin which is their whole claim to fame so if you're willing to sit here and fiddle with her you you will not be disappointed with the end result but man it takes a long time okay so another product I have of theirs that I've never tried is this bronze balm it's supposed to be a sheer buildable bronzer that delivers a wash of natural warmth and depth ah oh, their gold packaging I love everything about this brand I mean oh whoa okay hi uh, I've seen people go straight on their skin with this do we trust that do we trust that do we want to do that I mean you know me I like to live dangerously oof I just killed like a small part of my soul a little bit <laughs> okay let's blend out my cheekbones I don't know if it stays emollient for a long time or Well, that blends in like nothing. It definitely, definitely shears out. We do it on the nose, even though it's not a good contour shade. Absolutely. It's very warm. I don't know if I just picked like a very, very warm shade or what happened here? But I feel like I feel like she is a warm, very warm bronzer. The shape's kind of cool for your forehead too, because you can like run that across your forehead like this. If you want to get a little bit more pointed, you can, you know, kind of twist it around. Obviously we're gonna double up on the cheeks because I like snatched love. Okay, it's really nice. It's not getting patchy or anything, uh, which sometimes sheer can get really patchy really fast. I'm not experiencing that at all. No wonder people are like going crazy for this formula and really, really raving on it. It's, it's, it's nice. This is one of these products that every time I'm in Sephora, I swatch it and I leave it. And finally, during the last Sephora sale, I was like, would you please just get this? <laughs> it's the uh, Dayglow Highlighting Balm. Uh, this highlighter gives you a dewy, balmy sheen with zero sparkle. I got it in the shade Kava. I don't even know how to apply it. <laughs> like... We just like stripey on and all of their products seem really safe to just slap on there so I don't know that's kind of nice when you don't have to be scared to go straight from the bullet it is uh, a bit tackier than I like it does sort of have that borderline Vaseline feel to it um, if memory serves though from 
the million times I've swatched it at Sephora, eventually it does kind of set. So you do have some emolency, emolliency to work with. God, that's pretty. Kava is a really classic champagne sort of shade. And yeah, no sparkle. I see absolutely no glitter. So for products I know I love, I got this set of, uh, this is this year's um, mini blush trio. So it has Beverly Hills, Fox, and Rouge, which is like a set exclusive red. I have been playing with Beverly Hills like nonstop, like it was living in my makeup bag. Um, very emollient, very easy to blend, wears away beautifully, um, however it does not have the best staying power on my skin so I would find that I was like reapplying it. I don't know if that's going to be true with the deeper shades or if they're going to have a little bit more of a staining power but this is Beverly Hills, this is the one that I've just been in love with. It's that perfect kind of peachy pinky, mostly peachy nude though. This is like a much deeper nude. I must have, I can tell that I must have worn it at least once or swatched it. Um, so yeah, you literally can just like swipe these on your skin though. And like, you'll be like, whoa, pigment. And then they, they blend out beautifully. It's a really pretty color. So yeah, they have a ton of emolliency, playtime, you can spread them around the way you want them. They really do mold to your skin and look like your skin, your flush. They're really pretty. Wow. Uh, yeah, get on me. Oh, that's almost like neon. Oh. Wow. That's delicious. That's gorgeous. It's gonna, I bet that blends in so beautifully. That gives like that fresh, oh, I just came in from the, the bitter cold. But I'm gonna use a controversial powder that I love. This is the Melt uh, Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder. Uh, I love this. People hate it and I'm like, how can you hate this? This is lovely. Okay, it's doing well being said, like we're not losing all the colors or... Very emollient though, I can feel it kind of wanting to stick to the bristles of the powder brush. I'm going to dip into the Hourglass Jellyfish Holiday Set. Cause I'm gonna dip into some, some dim light here. <laughs> Since I really am familiar with this powder. And go ahead and set the under eye. Which again, these are not setting powders, these are finishing powders, but I love them under the eyes. They, they work so well for just a really light set that doesn't get like all creepy and crazy on you with the bronzer from this palette. Just kind of go over where we bronzed lightly. And 
and I'm gonna go into this blush down here called Diffused Heat. Actually, I'm gonna dab into both blushes, but mostly Diffused Heat. And kind of get that warmth that that red had been giving us. Reinforce that back into the look. Then I'm going to take a pinch of the highlighter in here called Opal Glow. And I'm probably going to put that Kava stick on top again to get the finish. But I'm going to lay a highlighter down. Okay, so I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray to really lock in all this work that we've done on the face before we move into eyes so let's start with our brows here my brows are all jank have I waxed them yet? No. Did I fix my nails? Yes. Are they already busted? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for keeping up with me in my life. I don't really know what to be expecting from this. Guess we're just going to try to get my brows to tame. Feels like a pomade. Even though it's very white in the tube, it's coming out very clear on my eyebrows, which is I like. Obviously having black eyebrows, I don't need a weird white cast on them. Hard to tell if this is very volumizing because it is a clear tone. I can't really speak to that claim. But yeah, it shaped my coarse hair. It had no problem. L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dirt Brunette. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Really don't need to be filling in my brows too, too much. Just a little. A little bit here. A little bit on the tail. So I pulled Brune because I have Brune and a Nelson and Nelson's a really like gray toned one that I actually find very neutral and I wear basically all the time and I've only worn Brune once so this poor thing's neglected so I thought okay I've only I've only dipped into it one time I felt I felt bad for Brune I was like you know let's uh let's tap into you let's show you some love and uh do a pretty brown eye here. I really like how sheer these are. I think that that's honestly one of the things about the Merit Solo shadows that sets them apart from other eyeshadows, but especially other cream formulas, is they if you blend them out with your finger, they are just a beautiful light wash of color. You can get some serious impact with a brush, but I think the sheerness is what makes them so special. Oh, I love the way that that brown just makes my brown eyes like... So the thing about these caps is if you tighten them too much which I did on this one I had to bust it open with tweezers and I totally like I totally destroyed the cap so you want to get them tight but not too tight I've seen a lot of people complaining online these these lids have a fundamental design flaw <laughs> this is glacy the sort of just nude topper so I'm just going to warm some up in my hand, finger, and uh, I don't know, let's see. Oh, it does, it adds just such a subtle sheen. 
Uh, one thing with these merit shadows is you do kind of want to keep your eyes closed while they're drying, otherwise they do kind of dry creasy, but once they set, they don't, they don't budge. I've seen a bunch of people saying that they crease all over, and I'm like, mmm, that has not been my experience. Oh, wow. That's pretty. I'm gonna use Melt's uh, slick waterline pencil in black onyx just to line my top lashes. I don't believe Merit has an eyeliner. Now I'm ready to try Merit's uh, Lash Slick. Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. I don't know where I came up with Lash Slick. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's in the perfect black. Okay, bristled wand, I like that. Kind of like the uh, perfect amount of zhuzh for a natural mascara, and uh, if it really does too, but that's going to be awesome. I'm really digging the look. I'm really digging the surprisingly bright cheek. I'm trying to uh, get the lip liner out of here. Okay, this is the Signature Lip Sheer Lip Liner in Bespoke. My understanding is this is the only lip liner in their collection. Um, okay, let me see. <sighs> I'm gonna line my lips. Oh, that's creepy. That's like my exact lip shade. Okay, that's extremely creepy. Okay, so I am going to cheat my lip line on this side because my lips are not even. Love that for me as well. So I am going to overline just a little bit on this side. Okay, my lips are busted, they are dry. Oh, I can feel the crust. That is not cute. We're going with the lip oil. I have three shades in the lip oil. I have taupe, which is an absolutely gorgeous looking cool nude. I have sangria, which is your perfect sort of red wine color. And then I have, the one I'm leaning towards is called Falcon. This is a deep brown, but I think given how poppy my, sorry my nose is like running, okay, given how bright my cheeks are, I think I can, I think I can rock the uh, dark tinted lip oil and not regret it. Ooh, is it dark? Okay. Sheer out, would you? I've never tried these before.
They have some color payoff. Oof. That's like the thinnest layer possible of that, and that's a stunning deep brown. I had a feeling that I was really gonna love everything, and I'm glad I sat down and just really kind of honed in on Merit. It really like blends into your skin. It doesn't have that super makeup-y, cakey appearance. It even like <laughs> withstands when you go in the bathroom to do your hair and you're like, whoa, what was I thinking? <laughs> Love the lip oil. That's the thing about Mary is all these colors are so, like they look so right with your skin. They look so right with your eyes. So like between the eyeshadow and the lip, my eyes look so green. It's really like pulling the hazel out of them. Just, it's makeup that makes you feel like your best. I don't think Merit gets enough credit for their color choices, for their curation of collections. When they release things, they don't really release more than like four to eight shades at a time. And I'm very, like, drawn to the whole aesthetic. And I can't stop looking in my view, like, finder. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Slay. Who is that girl? So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. And um, I hope I'll see you in my next video. Until then, <laughs> bye, darlings.